Right. Go ahead. Hi, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time with Cupcake, but we're not having tea this time or milkshakes. Straight up coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Um, I'm rocking the Tim Hortons cup. True Canadian. I have my right nice here. Venom mug. Yeah, I love that Look mug. Look at his tongue go all the way up there. So good. Fancy. So fancy. <laughs> right. So the reason we've brought you all here today Yes To sit down with us Yes is Just a few things Yes We're gonna talk <laughs> about Overwatch Overwatch mainly Yeah <laughs> Overwatch We're also no. gonna talk about Disney Infinity We're also gonna talk about Something else I can't remember <laughs> Oh yeah, Marvel And Ma we're gonna Yeah Right Overwatch! Overwatch. Oh my god. What do you think about Overwatch? Oh my god. <laughs> it's everything mm -hmm. I wanted it to be and more. Right. I'm so I'm so happy with it. I've been following it for over a year now. Uh just watching anything that I could on YouTube and got really into it then and then the whole reason we did the first person shooter training was so that I could play this game actually <laughs> somewhat well. And I think I'm getting the hang of it. I'm killing people. I think that's a good sign. Well, you'll see from the, the Overwatch yeah. videos that we're going to release. Yeah. Uh, we recorded about, I think it was like seven or eight matches yeah. we recorded um, during the open beta weekend. <laughs> And uh, I think you can see a definite improvement with Carla's abilities in first-person oh, yeah. games. And also, okay, we so we recorded like seven episodes towards the beginning of the weekend when we first started playing it. Mm -hmm. And I started editing the footage that we had. I have it all set up in like a multi-camera format in Premiere. It's really cool. Oh, it's going to look so good, you guys. You have no idea. Fraser's been going all It's nice all and out. easy to edit. And I've got like a new graphics package I actually bought from a website and then I've fiddled with it. Looks really cool. Got my friend John, also known as Flood Rana, on SoundCloud. He's doing um, new intro audio and everything. So we're going all out. And the main reason is, is because we're planning on doing so much Overwatch content yeah. that we thought like a, a specific branding for that Overwatch content was a good idea. Definitely. There's also going to be um, updates to the the character portraits that we have for us. Yeah. I'm Carla's going to be doing those. I'm very um, soon. <laughs> I was getting this happen. Oh yeah. So we recorded that stuff towards the beginning of the weekend. Yeah. But then I was editing it like after we'd played everything and I was absolutely terrible at the beginning of the weekend. Oh really? Yeah. And Playing, you, you mean? Yeah, and you improved quite a bit. Oh good. So you you'll see a, a bit of a change. Yeah. <clears throat> like from the first to the last, the first one's pretty bad in terms of our plays. <laughs> well, it was also because like we we were playing for a little bit, we started to get the hang of it, and then we were like, right, let's record. And then we started recording, and we were like, ah, crap, talking and playing. Ah, <laughs> at least for me, it was really really hard because mm -hmm. I'm still like really concentrating hard because it's a new thing, right? First person shooter. But, yeah. yeah, and I want to do well. <laughs> um, I also ordered the it was the limited edition bundle yeah. that I ordered so that should be here on release day which is the 24th of May and the plan is to do kind of I don't normally like like unboxing videos but oh, like but it's so special but we yeah it is so it's kind much. of a big thing so yeah. we're so gonna we'll do, do like a, a bit of a like vlog slash unboxing on that oh, when it actually releases I'm so excited and then on top of that we'll just be recording a bunch of content for it but we also want to know what you guys think of Overwatch. Yeah, what are your favorite characters? Who do you like to play as? Um, if there are any funny stories, we want to know. We're yeah. like super into this game right now. I'm definitely a uh, Mercy fan right off the bat. You mean Mercy? Mercy's your main? Yeah, I mean right now anyway. Like I don't want her to be... I, I don't want her to be my thing. But like it's definitely a good way for me to like get grounded, get into the game and... Yeah. I really technical. enjoy playing Mercy as well, actually. She's fun. And I, I didn't at first, but like towards the end of the weekend, like you'll notice as well in our videos, like our, our uh, focus is shift on like oh, who yeah. we like to play and everything. Because the first video that comes out, I was really into Junkrat, mm -hmm. but the particular game that was recorded was actually a very bad Junkrat game for me. Because <laughs> what had happened prior to recording that one, I had like two or three really good Junkrat games. Yeah. And I was yeah, getting like play the game, and, and I was like, like, ah, yeah. Right, let's record. And, and I was like, like let's I'm record. Ready. And then it was like, <laughs> <laughs> like there, there was one sequence. I'll, I'll play the clip now. One sequence where 
there was a bastion that just used his ultimate and he was like coming towards the door on one of the maps and I was at the edge of the door and I was like right ultimate time drop the tire he blows it up and like as soon as I launch it <laughs> it's like completely useless I still kill him but it was like just a complete waste it happens it yeah. happens it's still pretty early on everybody's still getting used to the game I feel like even people that we were playing with like there were a couple games there I think we recorded some where like our teammates just were all over the board like couldn't commit to like a certain character and I found that with myself too at first because I'm so used to well I haven't played FPS games in a while like being into them like last game I probably played a lot of was probably Modern Warfare 2 they and all kind of start to seem like the same game after a while for me yeah and they're never really team based although it's team deathmatch you're usually just running around like okay kill this guy yeah. run around kill this guy and then you finally see a teammate and you're like whoa whoa, whoa. yeah don't kill him don't kill him <laughs> <laughs> but Overwatch, you're really playing for the team, and it's more it's about the great. objective, and that's why they don't care about like kills and deaths and that kind of thing. It's more about yeah. get to the objective, do that. And I think a lot of people are having trouble grasping that oh, concept yeah. at first. Definitely, it'll come to the community overall in time, but I think right it's, now it's just so fresh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think it's actually a really good way for certain games to go, and also just building a community within that game. Like, I don't know, uh, I don't know, because you, you played a lot of Dota and stuff, and it seems it, it is, you're working towards a certain goal together, but you're more so, like, not helping each other out, you're more so just, like, I don't know, that's kind of what, it, well, it's more competitive and, like, this person didn't do this and you're all pissed at him and stuff, whereas Overwatch, I feel like everybody could help everybody out, right? Like, if you're a Mercy, you are helping everybody out. But they also have to help you out by protecting you in order to stay alive so that you can yeah. help each other. But I mean, in the competitive scene, there's still going to be that blame game where, like, oh, yeah, well, this yeah. person didn't do that role correctly. It, there's always going to be that, but I feel like Overwatch is kind of um, reaching out to a more. Yeah, it, I don't think it's going to have the same kind of toxic community that any of the MOBAs have. So yeah. I think yeah, that's kind of what you were getting at there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, on to other news mm -hmm. Disney has decided they're no longer making games. It's quite disappointing, really. No more Disney Infinity. So there's going to be no more Disney Infinity, because that Avalanche, the devs behind it were actually owned by Disney or something. Yeah, I don't know anything about this topic. He just told me this today. Yeah, so, so Disney has decided that they're going to pull out of making games completely, and what they're going to do is just sell the rights to people. So, for example, you had uh, Battlefront that came out. That was made by EA. Uh, Disney made a ton of money off of that, more than they did on Disney Infinity, which they made on their own. Huh. So, uh, in terms of numbers, I suppose it probably makes sense for them, but it's just kind of a disappointment too, because it's not like the Disney Infinity series was kind of shit in the bed. It was doing quite well. Yeah, I feel like it was still like it was still growing, like it was still kind of getting into itself. Figuring like, out, figuring yeah, yeah, out, yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, like it didn't feel like it should be like bombing or anything yeah. right away so they've announced that there's gonna be i think it's two more play sets coming out uh an alice story no there's gonna be an alice in wonderland i don't know if that's just figures or a play set i think oh. it's just figures and then that'd be interesting um the last thing they're gonna do is finding dory which is coming out in june which i think carl and i probably will play yeah Oh, wait. <laughs> you were going to say see. And I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we're going to see it. But yeah, we'll probably play that playset too. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, I think maybe too we're going to make a video going a bit more into detail as to what's happened with Disney Infinity. Like what our thoughts are and so on and so forth. But it just kind of, it was kind of a damper. I like how we're both looking at your figures. Just like, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> like, I feel yeah. like we're talking to them like, yeah. this is what's happening. I'm sorry, you guys. Like... Stitch is just giving me that look like... <sighs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that sad news. Yeah, um, really sad. I'm, I'm pretty bummed out because I feel like they could have done so much more with it. and but, I'm a little bit surprised just because I feel like Disney really is like dipping its toes and everything that they would pull out from something. I think they know? said they said off the bat that they, they're only going to do it if it's like going to make them a ton of money. Yeah, and it hasn't quite made them that ton... Yeah. more than what they wanted so speaking of disney marvel yeah. um we saw captain america civil war 
And it was, it was awesome. Great. It was yeah. really good. I think we both agreed that Black Panther was oh. kind of the coolest part. Oh, he's my favorite. I d- that he's actor, he, he played like James Brown in an autobiography. Oh, not really? An autobi- a biography that movie. Yeah, that's oh. that actor. Wow. He's, he's good. He's good. He's and the really character good. was really well written. Really cool. good. Yeah. It I was think like he we... ha- okay, I know this is kind of weird, but I think he had a perfect voice for that character, too. Like, yeah. I was really worried about that. And I've complained about this before, but like. Um, I was worried he was just gonna have like an American accent or something. Oh uh, yeah, but or they, like over the top. Or African, like over the like, top African, yeah. Yeah, but no, it was. But no, it really was. Good. It was perfect. Yeah. Especially for a character with a costume that you can't see their face, like Deadpool, you have to have a voice that that matches it, right? Same yeah. thing with Black Panther, like you have to have a voice that matches it and really pushes the character through. Yeah, yeah it was really good. Yeah, yeah. But it was good, <laughs> and um. Good to the point where we're gonna actually start playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, yeah. which follows the Civil War storyline. Just because we're so into it. Just because we're so we're into good. it right now. And I, I, I've really played through excited. that game a couple times. I really did love it. It just, it fell short in a couple ways, but it's yeah. still a decent game. Huh. I've never played it before. Carl's so... never played it, so it'll be cool to see. Like I think there's like 20 something Marvel characters in it. Awesome. And obviously, you have to pick whether you're with <laughs> Iron Man or Captain America, and then from there, they split the characters up. Right. So but it'll be interesting working... to see what we agree on and what we don't yeah. agree on in terms of this political oh, that'll stuff. Oh, be really cool. Because right before we recorded this, we were talking about it upstairs. I was like, what, yeah. who, who would you side with, do you think? And Yeah. And you said Captain America. I did. And I'm more about Team Iron Man, I'm afraid. <laughs> but we'll get into all that when we yes. actually record the series. Yeah, because then it'll be way better when we talk on the, on the video game. Yeah, <laughs> we're not yeah. going to talk about it now. Yeah. You don't get to hear We've it. We've already talked quite a bit. We're at like <laughs> f- almost 15 minutes. Yeah, that's right. But um, <laughs> yeah, what else is going on? Oh, we were going to try and record... Um, it was like a Five Nights at Freddy's. Joy of thing. Creation. Yeah. It was a game made in Unreal Engine. It's like a, one of those like boogeyman kind of horror games where you just... Well, it's like you're running from a, oh, a boogeyman, basically. Jump scare, gotcha. pick up objects. He um, was going to scare me today, but... It looked kind of spooky, so I thought we could play it. But I tried to open it, and the stuff's not working. We spent like almost two hours on it, because what was going on? Well, it makes it sound like we literally spent two hours like scratching our head, but it was more like... No, we No, you were like... Well, we were kind of like doing other stuff in between. Anyway, it didn't work. But this was on my laptop, so we might try something else on my desktop later tonight, see if it works. If it does, it does. Doesn't, doesn't. What Whatevs. Um, beyond that, what are we going to record today? Let's see. We got the list over here. We yeah. got a big list. On oh, the whiteboard. More Slime Rancher to come, guys. The more Slime Rancher. Yeah, we're going to pick that back up, yeah. see what happens with that. Yeah. Uh, the Banner Saga. Oh, yeah. uh, cool game, all traditionally animated, all the characters oh and stuff. God, it I looks can't really wait to neat. See it. I think Carla wanted to play that because we've been watching Game of Thrones. Watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones, and I'm completely like caught up to where it currently is. I'm on season two. We're almost done season two with Carla. So <laughs> how many seasons are out? We're on six right now. Great. Yeah. But <laughs> I got a lot of it's so up awesome because there's all these like events that are gonna like make Carla cry, oh, no. and I. Can't wait to just see like the reactions and stuff. You can't wait to see me cry. Well, no, not, <laughs> not like that, but you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Um, that's what we're gonna do tonight too. Watch more Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, Banner Saga. I'm really, really excited to see the art in that game. I'm really excited to do some commentary on it. And I honestly have no idea what the gameplay is like, so I'm really. I don't either, actually. Excited It'll to be see interesting. what's going on. Yeah. But at any rate, folks, this has been an update video, <gasps> vlog, whatever the... What are you... Uh, we're drinking yeah. coffee. Coffee! But yeah, there's some <laughs> some interesting stuff to talk about, I guess, that we have talked about there. Um, like we said... We'd like to talk about it more, so join in the conversation, you know? Get yeah. in touch with us. Get in Twitter. touch. Let us know what's going on. Yeah. What's happening with you folks? Yeah, we want to know. Let's hear your thoughts on Overwatch yeah. and... Disney also Infinity. your thoughts on Disney Infinity because I know like we did do one place out on the channel and it wasn't exactly a popular series in terms of we like our fun, other stuff though. we had fun playing yeah. it but I like to do more not a lot sometimes. of people watched it no but yeah, uh, yeah it's I think it's a kind of a, an acquired taste I guess yeah I'd, I'd say so yeah so yeah it'd be interesting to know your thoughts down below um or, or on the whole genre of games with uh, like Toys to Life games like Skylanders, Lego Dimensions, and all that stuff. Like, what's your thoughts? I haven't seen any of the other ones, so yeah, that's I'm interesting. Kinda, yeah, mm-hmm. I'll have to check it out. But anyway, guys, 
We hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Yeah. We love having you watch the videos. Yeah. We appreciate having you watch. Yeah. If you've been enjoying this stuff, can you please leave us a like? Perhaps even comment? Maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. And... <laughs> yeah! On that note... We'll see you later. Goodbye for now. Bye! That was perfect.